Hi everybody, um, thanks for joining me. <coughs> uh, the topic of <coughs> today's video is going to be um, reality one versus reality two. Um, I always knew this to be true about acting, but my teacher, Harry Mastro George, put it that way, reality one versus reality two. So, very powerful uh, paradigm for me. and. Um, influences my work, of course. I mean, I knew it intuitively, but basically what it is, is <clears throat> there's reality one, which is you're on a movie set, you're at an audition, you're in a uh, room with not, no paintings on the walls, there are casting directors there, okay, that's reality one. Reality two is the story. So, let's say um, in uh, the movie Alive, I'm trying to figure out uh, on a map how to get us off the mountain. Uh, that was the story. We were uh, plane crash victims. We were trying to get, find a way to get off the mountain. <clears throat> so that's reality two. So reality one would be I'm on a, I'm on a film set in Vancouver. There's 50 crew members. Um, they got a refrigeration unit in the, on the set, and um, it, there's chaos on the set. So that's reality one. Reality two is I'm Alberto Antuna, not Jake Carpenter, um, trying to find who's found a map and uh, has survived a plane crash and I'm trying to find a way out for us. So that's basically it, is um, an artist gets stronger and stronger at being able to stay in the reality two space, even though they know at some level they're in reality one, they're on a film set, for example, and the director says action and cut and the rest of that. Um, but the great actors, they are, I don't know, 98% in reality too. They hear the director say cut, probably. Um, but through practice and experience and focus and homework, they're able to um, have their concentration muscle for reality too strengthened. And um, that's a lot of what acting is. So. I always knew that intuitively, that I was playing a game of pretend as an actor, just like I did when I was a kid. Um, but I like the idea of a reality too, and the way the reality too can get stronger and stronger for an actor is to imagine the circumstances of the story, spend hours doing it, um, and it becomes more real to you. Um, it's just a human nature thing. If you spend time thinking about something for, you know, prolonged repeatedly, it becomes more and more real to you. Um, so, as Alberto Antuna, I would think about who I was specifically, maybe specific situations growing up. I would think about, I would just fantasize um, actual interactions between me and the other members of the rugby team. Um, it was a rugby team that crashed in the plane crash in the Andes in the movie. And I would visualize finding the map and getting excited about finding a way out for us. And also my legs were broken on the plane's crash. <coughs> so I would imagine the pain <coughs> and the gangrene and the high fever and yeah, I mean, do that for a while and <laughs> uh, do that for four hours a day or something like that and it will become, it will become very, very real to you and that's what uh, acting is and that's what the great directors are looking for and that's what the great actors do. There's no sense that they're acting, you know, there's no sense that they're trying to impress anybody or that they're trying to show you what they're, what they should be feeling or, no. They create the actual circumstance and they serve the story and it plays off of them. So, reality one versus reality two. And the acting, the magic is in the reality two. And that's the fun of it. So, hope that's helpful. Uh, please subscribe and like and um, leave a comment if you want. Thanks a lot.